Hello and welcome to the Film Bunker podcast. My name is Nick and I am joined by five of the newest members of the 100 Acre Wood. And we are here to talk about films and TV and I am joined by Simon, Karen, Matt, Ben and Kelsey. And how is everyone? Pretty good. What, yeah. what What's the 100 Acre Wood? I don't... I Winnie, the oh, Winnie the Pooh? It's Winnie the Pooh, man. Okay. Yeah, it's where Winnie the Pooh lives. Look, when I watched Winnie the Pooh, I was a really dumb kid. <laughs> <laughs> I don't remember anything. Except there was an owl and a tiger and a, a rabbit. It's not a tiger, it's a tiger. And the There's owl was first? Like he's yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's well, only, it's only uh, no, it. that doesn't surprise me for some. Yeah. Actually, no, that's, that's true. <laughs> but more importantly... Wait, what characters are, are we all? Yeah. I'm right. definitely. Okay, I was. Oh, I'm, for sure. I, I'm about ready to kill myself. I was. <laughs> I was gonna do the characters. Okay. Oh, sorry. Go for it. Then I didn't. I didn't get time. I was. <laughs> I, no, no. I mean, like, I was gonna do it originally. Oh, right. I wasn't actually. I didn't end up deciding because Karen Damn was it. obviously gonna be Tigger. Well, no, Yay! <laughs> Real time now. Okay. Um, yeah, Matt, we're doing was, now. <laughs> Matt was gonna be. Um, uh, that's where I was struggling. I didn't know because I was going to make you Eeyore. That's bad. That is bad. Yeah. And someone's going to be someone's going to be Piglet though. And as then well. uh, Matt was probably going to be Poo. Yeah, actually, oh, yeah. I don't um, wear pants. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, and I am really rude. Oh. <laughs> Stop it. Oh. And then I guess Kelsey has to be Kanka. I don't no, know. No, I'm going to be Rue. I love Rue. Okay, Rue works. Rue works. Okay. All right. What, what, what were you going to say? I was going to say Piglet. Piglet. Okay. That's a bitch. So, <laughs> is that- <laughs> oh. he, like he is that. a bitch. No, he is so a the, bitch. So yeah. that leaves the owl for Simon. Yeah. Well, there's plenty. Well, well, I know you. Me? Yeah, well, I don't know. What am I? Yeah, we never name you. Uh, rabbit. No, no he's a This way I get away uh, with yeah, t- rabbit. Tigger. I love Kelsey's <laughs> No, okay, Piglet is a bitch. Rabbit's a dick. No, no, no. I said Tigger. But it's true, though. Okay, that was really bad, and I'm sure no one understood what anyone said just then. <laughs> yep. <laughs> we're, Piglet we're... is a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> That's the takeaway from today's podcast. Can that be the title? That's the title, yeah. isn't it? That's okay. the title right there. Yeah. Not Piglet Christopher Robin, bitch. just Piglet is a, a bitch. bitch. Yeah. Yeah. That'll get more views, let's be real. <laughs> so let's do it. There's so many <laughs> Let's do it. Let's do it. <laughs> let's do it. <laughs> Angrily Googling <laughs> Piglet. <laughs> like, I hate Piglet. Piglet is a bitch. Let's click this link. <laughs> <laughs> It'll I'm work. So I, sorry. I say we just try it. Whatever. Boss baby <laughs> anal. <laughs> anyway. Oh, no. Okay. What's new in the entertainment world? Well, yeah, we have new. Sorry, I, that just after the boss baby anal, it's like, well, there's the explicit thing on the iTunes again. Yeah. <laughs> Can you just bleep that out? I don't I, know. I try to keep this G rated. No, you don't. Oh, you, you don't. don't. Definitely don't. At all. You're the worst person for it. <laughs> <laughs> So I think Kelsey's right. I don't probably... swear. <laughs> I try not to swear. Yeah, okay. You but don't I, do swear. Say, I do say things like Piglet <laughs> tickled my ear with his penis, which is not okay, and stretches the content. All right, derailed enough. News. <laughs> News. Not much of it. I get oh, back there is, there is, there is, that I just thought about. The Oscars reneged. Oh, yes. Oh, yeah. They reneged that. on the... Popular Pop- film category. Yes. Mm. Ooh, well, yeah, no, it's half and half. They're not doing it this year because they thought it was dumb <laughs> to introduce a new category nine months into the film season. Fair. Which and, is fair enough. And also they said they've got to go back and talk to their members. Yes. And so say, they're reviewing yeah. it. And also, yeah. all movies this year have sucked. So like, well, <laughs> we, can't we got nothing. I think more so they just got a shit ton of blowback and realised they fucked up. Exactly. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It's 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 a lot of things. But no, that's, that's an interesting development. Mm. And other than that, there's not really too much, but Reynolds did pass away, so we're a bit sad about that. Yeah. yeah. We'll leave it there. And <laughs> <laughs> moving oh, on. Oh, I'm sorry. Stage directions going on in the oh, background oh, here. <laughs> not many of us know too much about Burt no. Reynolds. Unfortunately, he's a bit, uh, he was before our generation. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. dude. Mustache. That's what, that's what I thought. Best oh, to move on. Great yeah. stash. Oh. <laughs> He does have a good stash. Mm. We did see, we were trying to figure out what movies he was in, and we saw it like as a half naked picture of. <laughs> God, it's a good picture. It's a good picture. Classic picture. Mocked, right? mm-hmm. yeah. I think yeah. it is yeah. the devil on the one that yes. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. If I can take a picture like that sometime during my life, I'm going to be happy. <laughs> or start growing the stash. Like yeah. posing in the picture, or like taking the picture, like actually <laughs> no, 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 in the from the side. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay, that's those. <laughs> anyway, um, self, <laughs> Henry Cavill as well, and all that business. What's happening yeah. there? I've I've paid zero attention to the world. Okay, cool. Um, I've been crying in the corner <laughs> of my apartment for the last seven days. So, 
ignoring that, trying to help. Um, no, Henry, Henry Cavill's been cast as um, Geralt from The Witcher for, mm. I think it's Netflix's new mm-hmm. yeah, series. Yeah, Netflix's doing it. Yes, yeah, their new series, which is about eight episodes or so. Uh, the ba- the fan outlash from this has not been great because oh. people just don't like Henry Cavill what? because of Superman and it's like you're you're wrong actually it's he's yeah. a very good actor and he suits the role really well mm. and he's also a very big fan of The Witcher yeah, yeah. so yeah. he suits it fantastically I do like the starsh segue too from Burt Reynolds to <laughs> yeah I didn't even think of that I did not think of that but that works out well um, no, I think he's going to be fantastic for it. That'll, it'll be it'll be interesting. I am very attached to the voice actor of Geralt in the Witcher in the Witcher games. Witcher games yeah. I'm really sad they can't. Well, he, get it, but it's if well, it's he, live action. Um, Henry Cavill has his blessing. Okay, so I like he that. he approves completely. That's, yeah. that's very that's cool. basically as high as you can get. Mm. I'd be very happy if Henry Cavill played me. Just same, same, <laughs> same. <laughs> same. Yeah. Yeah. You'd be disappointed yeah. in him. He's so. Charming. And there, I think there were some comments as well about he's not old enough to be Geralt. They can make him look uh, yeah. older. Exactly. Yeah. He has and like cat eyes. He's not a human. He's very, and also like silver like, hair. Yeah. And yeah. He's he's a weird. Age is kind of irrelevant. Mm. Exactly. It's because he has wrinkles in the game. I'm pretty in sure. like the first game, he looks like a baby. That's what I mean. Like it's, I think people matter. assume it's going to be the most recent game where he does look old. But mm. there's you know a whole universe before that. There's yeah, two like other 17 games. Seventeen novels. Seventeen novels. There's heaps of comics. Um, two games before it. That so. He'll do well. I think he'll do really well. Henry Cavill actually said that he's a fan of the books. Like, yeah, well. no, he's a, he's, so a, he's, he's a fan of the full universe. Yeah. yeah, he's not. He's not just played Witcher three and been like, yeah, I want to play. You know, he's, I'm hip with the kids. Yeah, I'm hip with the kids. Oh, that's so me. That's well, well, I was going to say that's me because I'm not hip with the kids. Like, <laughs> I like, play the game. Do you think um, it lends itself for a Netflix? TV yeah, series, in I, your opinion, like will it yeah. flow as far as like a storyline, or do you think it'll be it'll have I th- problems? I think so because at least from my understanding of it, because it's such a big universe and it's got so much detail in it. Really, all they've got to do is pick a smaller story out of that, yeah. and yeah. make it a series. They can't do the whole thing because that's nuts. No. Um, so they couldn't so, do the game like the first one. They, they could work. possibly. I'm not too sure. I don't know much about the first game because it's quite old oh, at okay. this point. Early kind two. of unplayable. Early, yeah, even the second game's pretty unplayable. Yeah. The third game's crap. No, I'm kidding. I uh, will kill you. <laughs> <laughs> just, just don't give me freaking Gwent cards for everything, and then I'll be done. I'm not getting. I'm not, no, I'm, not, I'm not getting into that discussion. Yeah, that, that's a different kind of podcast. Um, no, honestly, I think if they just pick a smaller story that to focus on, yeah, mm. it should do well because it's a game focusing a lot on relationships as well, yeah, and it's very, sure. very character heavy um i'm not sure how they'll do with the law of the witches themselves yeah that can is be... it a lot to explain i think so yeah, yeah. it can be I, I did see that the the showrunner is like a, a huge fan as well that as well yeah. she seems to be very good with like interacting with the community and communicating oh, with them okay. and people seem to be pretty happy with how it's going so right I, okay. i've got i've got high hopes i've got high hopes too just from the sounds of the people who are actually working on it yeah so yeah. He is hoping it's actually good. What's rating? Do you Don't know, know yet. Yeah, it would be. Ah, uh, if it's the Witcher. if it's the Witcher, yeah, it'd be. Well, yeah. it depends how violent they get. I'd just be interested to see if they won't, and then that'll affect the plot as well. Like just to get more viewers in. I'm not too. Is there anything? I in don't that? think you can yeah. do Geralt of Rivia, not ah, uh, because that's just not him. Yeah. Well, he's that's gonna. He, you know, mm, that's the complicated thing about those games is because you can play it differently. You can be very you, passive, you can, you or you can, can be very aggressive. What Geralt does, but yeah. he's still Geralt either way. Yeah, that's true. You know, is it going to be H? Sorry, no. I just okay. No. I no. I understand what you're saying. Yeah, now. I think about something completely different. Right, so it's, got, it's got. It's got to be R. R. No, it's, it's got to be R. Neck. Well, it's, yeah. way. Karen just mentioned it's got a, it's FX, right? No, it's Netflix. Say, oh, it's Netflix. Netflix. Sorry. Netflix yeah, yeah. Okay. So yeah, it could be R. I feel That's like what I'm thinking it could go yeah. either way because it's Netflix. Like it's, they, yeah, they they'll... still want a big audience. I guess it depends on how much. Um, it people... might be more like MA here in Australia. Yeah, it probably. I, it Maybe. depends on how much um, power people like Henry Cavill and who are the showrunner mm-hmm. and everyone else who are fans of the universe have a say in it. Really, because mm-hmm. I think you're right. It probably would go to R based what on based on the things. American. Uh, American, American, yeah, but it's like a it's a European. It's Polish. Pol- it's Polish. Te- like it's originated from Poland, mm. okay. but the actual 
the world of it, it's very European medieval, I think. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, so, yeah. or generic fantasy, really. There are a lot of French accents and English accents that is true. In, in the world. Yeah. Okay. Interesting. I feel Searching like fine. fantasy books are more television-shaped anyway, but yeah. Yeah. fantasy films don't really work too well. Because mm. I know, like, the Name of the Winds adaptation is supposed to be like they said a movie that's going to have a TV show and a game mm. like they're doing a weird thing with it yeah. with Lynn Manuel Miranda of all people um that is weird. I love that is that so book. odd they better not wreck it <laughs> yeah, no, <laughs> my I, favorite book i've heard so many different things about it but i'm not too sure but they i find that with fantasy films like that have come out recently like Warcraft and mm. i didn't mind that Warcraft is actually, if you compare it as a video game movie, it's really good. Yeah, it, compared uh, to as, everything else. as a video game movie. I know, like, compared <laughs> the to the rest. Low, yeah. I know, <laughs> but, like, it did all right. I didn't mind. Yeah. But, but I agree. I totally yeah. agree what you're saying. Yeah. It's It may have been a good movie, but at the same time, it's not getting its sequel because it was so much set up. And yeah. It was so much, and as a, like, standalone film, it left a lot to be desired because mm. it needed a universe to expand it mm. and i feel like television they come like with that space yeah so i feel like for sure the witch would do better there anyway it's also a bit more lenient in what format they do it'd probably yeah. be an hour an episode yeah or something like that yeah. but they could do you know two hours an episode even if they really wanted to or hour and a half i mean that's what game of thrones is doing for their final i know season. that's what i mean wow, so it could it could take that out. but the thing is game of thrones kind of earn the right to do that yeah the mm. Mm. they cut uh, not many shows other than maybe the first episode are going to yeah. start off with True. hour and a half mm. episodes That's the right. first episode might be like a movie length thing yeah but other mm. than that they'll be 40 don't know it could, it could so. be possible but they have some lenience with it rather than fitting everything into a two to three hour film yeah exactly they've got the space yeah has there been any movement with wasn't there going to be like a lord of the rings Netflix yes that's still thing? going it's that's on with amazon, amazon isn't it yeah oh, ne- oh, okay. like one billion dollars everyone was making a big deal about the production but i haven't really heard anything since then no okay. they're, they're working on it basically okay it'll we'll just wait and see what happens yeah, no with it yet. i mean i i'm interested to see what what they'd be covering i haven't heard yeah. about that like, oh it's it's uh i think it's ones? meant to be um aragon no, no, it's not even Aragon. Sorry, I think it's set before the War of the Rings. So okay. it'll probably sure. be about maybe the Numenor- the Numenorians, however you say that word. <laughs> yeah. I'm not too sure. <laughs> That's why I didn't bother to say it. It might be, <laughs> actually, 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 sorry, it is young Aragon. So. Yeah, isn't he the, ma- isn't he the, the main yeah, character? Yeah, he yeah. is. Before the War of the Rings, Aragon goes on journeys in random places. So I assume it's going to be that. The book's pretty vague on where he goes. It's just That's like, he goes off. <laughs> so I assume the TV show's going to do that. Okay, just him traveling and that's probably and things. A, probably a good call because mm. they have a lot of mm, open space to work. Yeah, they've yeah, got they've got old. they've got yeah like forty sixty years to work with exactly, so, <laughs> so they can fill it with whatever the hell they want. Yeah, let's hope it doesn't go that long. <laughs> <laughs> well, after they spend a billion dollars, I'm sure they're going. Let's go for forty years. <laughs> <laughs> oh, if it's really that's what good. the Simpsons is trying to do, isn't it? <laughs> well, they're getting close. They are. How long has it been now? For the Simpsons. 89 started? Yeah, 89. 30. So, they hit 30 not long ago. I think they're 29 now. Yeah, they'd be 29. Right, now. or yeah. maybe they're hitting 30. So yeah, so it'd yeah. be 30 next year. Yeah, yeah that's yeah, about right. That's that amazing. Now. I don't know that they're going to make it another 11. I don't think so. No. I, think they'll, I think they'll call it at 30. I think they probably want to. They do I want to. I don't think they will. I don't no, think they'll call it at 30. They want to. I don't think they have that I think Fox is going to just throw a whole bunch of money at them. Everyone's going to go, ah, They've openly said they want to. Yeah, but... For the longest time. Yeah, money. People sell it. They have, yeah. They're basically like, we want the show to end, and then we can finish with a movie, and then we we can be finished. Mm. Sure. (laughs) I'm going to say like 33. (laughs) (laughs) Just a really obscure number. (laughs) Oh, I reckon that's the way they'll do it. (laughs) Yeah, probably. 34. Just No, 30. Just, to, just times, to make the DVDs on your shelf <laughs> not be an even number. Yeah. Just have 33 DVDs of the Simpsons. <laughs> yeah, it's something that you cannot stack in. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. You can't break it up in any way. It's just going to be unsettling. <laughs> By the time it ends, DVD will be gone anyway. It already is. Yeah, pretty yeah, much, yeah. So no, di- digital will be done. It won't exist anymore. Like that, we'll just have it tattooed into our brain. <laughs> <laughs> it already is. What are you talking about? <laughs> the good episodes. The good episodes. I have. Yeah, You'll get bad episodes tattooed into your brain. Oh <laughs> no, I don't care. So, has anyone seen the set photos that have come out for Captain Marvel? Mm-hmm. Yes. Very what excited. do we think? I've seen the ones of Nick Fury. I don't know if there's any others. 
oh, then my gosh, there's he's heaps. playing Nick Fury. Is it Samuel? It's still yeah. Samuel yeah, Jackson. Yeah, they're using the de aging technology again. Oh, yes. yeah. Wow. Yeah. It looks, it looks really good. It looks impressive. It looks cool, yeah. It looks he really looks cool. really good in a still photo, though. We need mm, to remember yeah. that it's probably going to get a little yeah. bit uncanny when he bit moves. Of that Star Wars kind of. Yeah, but oh, it may I, I be good. It's gonna, yeah, that's like full seat, like full on. Depends on what he does, wasn't it? Yeah, you're right. Yeah, that's different. And um, he's in it a lot, apparently. Yeah. Like, he has a big uh, role. So it's not just, like, a cameo and he looks young. He's, yeah. like, young the whole time. Mm. Yeah, it's like apparently really ambitious mm. kind of Robert Downey Jr. looked good in, in um, he Civil looked a, War. He looked a bit too uncanny for me. However, uh, I feel like they'll do better with Samuel L. Jackson de-aging him because I felt like with Robert Downey Jr., he really when he was aged back, looked a bit too baby-faced But that's what waxy. he looked like. I thought, I thought it was pretty good. I, I was surprised that that's, what the, that that's what they did and it wasn't just makeup. Mm. I feel like it might be a similar thing to what happened with Peter Cushing and mm. Carrie Fisher. No, nah, that's Carrie cool Fisher one, but... looked. Carrie Fisher looked more baby-faced and therefore a bit more but uncanny remember, to me, whereas remember... Peter Cushing had those like deep lines and looked a bit more cartoony to look better. So I think Samuel L. Jackson de-aging will probably look a lot better. Yeah, you also got to remember that they didn't have as much of a frame of reference for either of those two in Star Wars. Yeah. They didn't have the actual people there. No, I was saying that I felt like Peter Cushing was quite good. Yeah, it wasn't too bad. I felt like yeah. Leia really unsettled me when I first saw it. I was like, oh, that doesn't look really that right. Yeah. So I Leia feel like, weird. yeah, I feel like Samuel L. Jackson has the kind of face that might make it a little bit less confronting or mm. uncanny. Yeah. We'll see. But oh, yeah. I like the yeah, suit. I like how she looks. The scrolls yeah. look interesting. I'm so excited that for the cool, scrolls. Yeah. Yeah. I'm glad. Because mm. everyone kind of assumed, oh, that's the storyline they're going to do. So it's kind of good that they released that photo because you're like, well, that's yeah. what you're expecting for the storyline to be. Um, I heard from somewhere, whether or not this is a super reliable source, but Chris Evans is definitely out as well. He said oh. he's done. Oh. Um, wow. I just watched that this morning. Um, just on another like kind of YouTuber that I follow. And um, so lots of theories now are going around about, well, okay, how's he going to go out uh, in right. the next um, Avengers number four or whatever it is? Infinity? Infinity. So he's, he's out. Out. Anyway. They still haven't titled it. Just, yeah, just, okay. Just well, Infinity the next War one. Um, like and then the whole, um, basically, she is sort of t- taking the mantle in mm-hmm. a way. Not the mantle, I guess, because he's not. she's not going to be Captain America. But you know what I mean? Like she's going to continue being the leader. Yeah. Ah, interesting. Mm. So is Chris Evans just tired of doing it, or is he... I think, yeah. He wants to direct. Mm, He started to do some smaller films or smaller things, apparently, and he really wants to direct, and that's why he did it. There'd be exhausting movies to do. Or how long has he been in the role? Oh, since the beginning. Yeah, so So what year was that? Um, All right, so I Man was 2008. I want to say. I'm just going to guess. I Man was 2008. I think Thor was 20. 2009 or 10. No, 2010. 10, 10, yeah, you're right. And then I think Captain America was end of 2010. Okay. Or 2011. Yeah, yeah. Because it was the one, yeah, it's 2011 because it was one for Avengers in 2012. Right. So. So it's been, he's been in it for quite a while, basically. Eight years is a long time to be in that one role condition. Yeah, that's what's hard. Yeah. 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 And it's the the center of probably more films than anyone except Iron Man, I would say. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, he'd be second. Probably. Pretty much. Yeah. yeah. And I guess as an actor too, you just reach a point too where you're like, where else can this character go? Yeah. He's Before not, I'm just it, playing the same thing. I do like Captain time. America, but it isn't the most fruitful role. Like it's no. yeah, he's he's pretty stock. Like I don't think you can play much with it. Yeah. Which is yeah. probably really frustrating as an, as an artist. artist yeah. Yeah. And his humor's wasted because Chris Evans is a funny guy. Yeah. And yeah. like that's why I was so excited um for Chris Hemsworth to finally be getting to play with because he has a great yeah. sense of humor too. So it's kind of yeah, he's he's kind of wasted in a role that's so, like, America, you know, like, yeah. very yeah. stiff and, you know. Because yeah. you deviate from that and suddenly everyone hates it. Yeah. So, yeah. I mean, fair enough, honestly. Yeah. And it's a tight rope because, you know, Captain America, I always say he him with Superman. Yes. And a lot of mm. people are down on Superman and go, oh, he's boring and all that sort of stuff. It's, it's, there's so much you can do with that character, but it is that tight rope of... Just walking it through and making sure it doesn't get too cheesy. Yeah. Mm. Well, the problem with Superman, though, is just because of the powers, whereas Cap doesn't really have that problem. 
That's true. Yeah, he's the, still the, yeah, Superman's yeah. issue yeah. is that he is omnipotent. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Except yeah. for except from rocks. Yeah. <laughs> which will just Yeah, whereas at least Cap doesn't have that issue. No, no he yeah. doesn't. He yeah. doesn't have that issue. And there is he does some, have the boy scout. There, there is yeah. some badassery with Captain America with oh, yeah. the ways he can use his shield. Mm. Like it's very, very cool. Mm. But it can feel sometimes, I guess, that it's, it's more the up. shield is the source of the power. It's rather the situations than him. they that they put him in that makes him more interesting. Yeah. Really. yeah. yeah. Cheese platter? <laughs> <laughs> what on the shield? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Right. Uh, that got uh, missed completely. Uh, yeah. uh, that was bad. Door stop. Yeah. I'm gonna I'm gonna move on to Simon's news now. <laughs> yeah. So, um, they finally released the trailer for uh, True Detective season three, which I'm very excited for. After a, uh, I, I didn't watch season two, but it was just so disappointing to see the direction that they went in. They went this like kind of grim, dark mm. New York or LA setting. Everything was really dark and. Yeah fluorescent lights and stuff like that mm. uh it just seems so disconnected from the first season yeah. which was such a strange kind of eldritch uh unique is it take really on the, so kind is of it, is. is it like eldritch has a little, has a little bit of the lovecraftian yeah. stuff to it have you not seen no i've Drew only Detective heard Drew detective by name i just assumed it was a crime show yeah what I, the fuck i want to recommend that to you specifically <laughs> oh, i think okay. you'll like it a lot it's, 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 it's got a good aesthetic feel to it yeah. okay yeah. i have misjudged this show completely. and it's, it's hard because part of the reason i didn't watch season two i mean yeah it got the the dodgy reviews and stuff mm. and once you make that emotional connection to the first season, then season two is completely different. Yeah. It's like, why would I? Mm. It's like it's like a new show appealing yeah. to you. It so they're not related the seasons. No, it's no. an anthology series. So Ooh. every season they just cut and run, do something, do something different. else. That's cool. Um, is there a common theme though, or is it detectives crime drama basically? Okay, but right. I will say that the third season looks like it has a kind of. Uh, theme of memory to it which i feel like is consistent with the first season what okay. made that really good cool. uh, and i didn't really get from the second season at least from right. what i watched of it so that'll be was cool in the second season? it was vince vaughn and someone vince vaughn there. and colin farrell and rachel oh. adams and that's Rachel's right and yeah. Someone yeah. Else. Yeah. so who's yeah. in this next one uh mahashala ali and uh other people who i don't remember <laughs> but okay. he was the only one so that not really big big names this time right? Not okay. hugely. I think that's a good good way to go. Yeah. Because mm. after yeah. McConaughey really knocked it out of the park in the first season. And I mean, Harrelson did a good job too. But yeah. it's it's hard to like follow that, which is the uh, story of Vince Vaughn's uh, career, exactly. isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> but um, yeah, I think having sort of, obviously actors with profile, but not with the same sort of lofty expectations. I think it's a yeah. good way to sort of yeah, go into it. such an awkward season. fit to bring Vince Vaughn in. After Matthew McConaughey, he's just, it just he's an awkward man. <laughs> I, I, he just doesn't fit anywhere, does he? I'm sure he's very happy and successful, but he just I mean, probably he has yeah. lots of money. Yeah, yeah. exactly. <laughs> he's doing fine for himself. What's your favorite Vince Vaughn role? Dodgeball. When I was going to say dodgeball as well. No. I don't know. Yeah, dodgeball. Sure, why not? I forget who he was. Dodgeball, dodgeball. was, a great was that the, the main What do you character? mean? He was the whole point of the film oh okay so he was the guy was I, the I guy. didn't I honestly didn't remember that I, yeah. I'm no, trying I, to remember I remember the ball <laughs> as the wrench bit do you remember the dodging <laughs> barely I remember there's a guy no, who's don't. like if you can dodge a wrench you can yeah dodge that's the, the only bit I, I remember as well yeah. and the buddy um what's the the enemy team that they yeah. with purple the cobras come on yeah yeah, yeah it's okay. Alan Tudyk was a pirate yeah, yeah. I would shoot it. Oh, you was. Yep. I, see, I was. I was very drunk when I watched this. <laughs> <laughs> I honestly believe that I have forgotten every movie I've seen Vince Vaughn in. Like I've gone to see. That's also it, fair enough. <laughs> and then just left and forgot about it. Do you remember when he did Psycho, like the remake? Of yes. Oh, that's awful. Oh. Yeah, it was pretty the bad. Shot for shot remake of Psycho. It's pretty bad with Vince Vaughn in it. I have not seen that. Enough said. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Sean sure must go see it. He's the Just opposite of Captain America's shield. There's not, <laughs> there's not many users of him. Yeah. <laughs> I'm so nasty. He's, he's fine. He's, he's I like him. Yeah, I think, I he, I think he does some to, more right stuff. To, I, just, I don't know what that stuff he is. He reminds me of, you get those actors in Hollywood that occasionally just have this propensity for just... Oh, it's you again! Like, <laughs> yeah. like oh, you no. shouldn't have done that. It's like, um, have done that, mate. it's like Will Ferrell almost. No, Will Ferrell, like he. I get that feeling stuff. from him. Okay, sometimes. that's fair enough. Yeah. But he, yeah, he's 
Vince Vaughn is like the guy who will do the sequel to the Will Ferrell movie. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Yeah. Yeah. He's a discount Will Ferrell. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> he's, around, he's been around for longer, too. That's he's, true. He's like the, the, the weird PE teacher at school. He was like... Oh, I think because his thing is like... <laughs> I don't he, know where I'm going with that. Analogy. Where are you? Yeah. He hasn't got his life together and that's sort of his thing, right? Yeah. And, yeah. and as the older he gets, the less you can believe that. Yeah. So he's kind of running out of room of like, being like, the, oh, one day I'll get my life together for he's, her. He's like, like this guy that's still chasing that breakout role. Yeah. And yes. he's never found that... Oh, Vince Vaughn was amazing in that movie. He's always that. He's always okay. It's going to happen one day. Yeah. It's going to happen yeah. one day. It's like, dude, yet 65 years old. <laughs> <laughs> it ain't going to happen. One day I'll get my life together. You've made me really sad know, about Vince Vaughn I now. Know, right? I well, know. I've actually heard some bad stories about Vince Vaughn, so I don't know. Oh, really? Oh, okay. Like what? Goss. Massive. Like... No, I can't. I can't even say it. <laughs> it's an off air thing. Oh, okay, but, right. So, it's a shame because he seems like a likable person. Sorry, Nick. No, that's uh, right. Yeah, no, he seems like he. I, I liked him in Wedding really Crashes. Yeah, hey, I, Wedding Crashes is alright. It's a great movie. I was just going to ask Matt about The Nun because I know he saw it this oh. week and he reviewed it yeah. on the website. So, what did you think? I liked it. It's popcorn horror. It's not nothing meaty. Mm. It, you, um, as far as the Conjuring movies go, it's probably the quote worst, unquote. Mm. But. It doesn't offend me. Some movies aren't trying to be high art and it wasn't trying to be high art and that's fine. Mm. It was just full of jump scares, I'm presuming. That's what I heard. That the, I And the jump that, scares yeah. were very predictable. That's what I heard about it, that they didn't do any, yeah, like very yeah. 90s horror jump scares. Yeah. They, they, the whole movie's a jump scare. <laughs> 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 like two hours <laughs> well, yeah but there's like you know something's gonna happen all the time right like, you know it, it it doesn't it's not it movies have felt cheaper i get mm. really annoyed at the it's only a cat trope you know right yeah it doesn't do that it's just you know that there's gonna be a creepy nun walking in the background all the time and then now there's mm. a creepy nun Hmm. So it doesn't it I don't I wouldn't even say it's a jump scare because it doesn't scare you. <laughs> you know it seems to not be doing a good job. Yeah, that's the a worst horror. thing you can say about a horror movie. I think it's just trying to tell you a story. But and very badly? <laughs> well, it's not a meaty story. It's not <laughs> <laughs> So it's trying to tell a story that's not good. Can you recap the like, story? Is it at least unsettling? <laughs> oh, no. See, I find ghostly nuns kind of attractive. So <laughs> I turn the whole movie kind of aroused. Uh, no, it's like in in the. I'm not super familiar with the whole Conjuring universe. I've seen most of the movies. I think now hmm. you don't really need that background. Hmm. I think it shows a character, two characters from the other movies at the start. It's like, and then. 50 years ago this happened and then it goes back mm. to them at the end and it's got nothing to do like you could it's just a segue into mm. an excuse to do another horror movie um the story is just basically in romania in the 1950s a nun killed herself trying to contain some evil and <laughs> turned evil <laughs> yeah does that she happens. turn evil or so i don't know if uh, that ruins the movie though spoilers wise it doesn't matter <laughs> yeah. um, so yes, but no. I, no, doesn't she just top herself and she's dead? That's one that's, nun. Yeah. yeah, there's one, lots one of nuns nun. in yeah. the movie. <laughs> so which, yeah. which nun are we nun. talking about? Yeah. Yeah. A nun. Well, I don't know who the nun is. Like, is the nun the evil nun or the good nun? I'm still trying to work that out. Um, I didn't hate. Like, it's really easy to sound cynical about these sorts of movies. I didn't hate it. I was. I thought it was fine. I liked it more than some other films I've seen lately. Mm-hmm. It's just not something that I think is going to be anyone's favourite movie ever. Does it add to the universe at least? Like would Conjuring Geeks be like, oh my God. (sighs) They might, like some, I can imagine some people feeling that it's really weak. Mm -hmm. Like what is even the point of this? But if you're a completionist, like I I just, I think it's a, it's a real waste of energy to hate this movie. So it's just mediocre, fine. It's fine. Movie, yeah. It's fine. Like everyone in the film will work again and do better work and worse work. It's mm. 
It's, it just exists. It exists. Right. I really like, um, I don't know how to pronounce her first name, actually. Taisa? Who does she play? Farmiga. Uh, she's she's the, the a nun. <laughs> <laughs> uh, she she's re- she's really quite likable. Like mm. she's um, uh, she's taken off as sort of a, a screen queen, mm. and I did quotation marks with my hands on a podcast. <laughs> <laughs> I did that last week. <laughs> <laughs> like we, uh, we all always do it. Yeah. Anyway. Um, she's got this really sort of innocent presence that is really lends itself to horror. Like mm. when bad things happen to you, like oh no. Not her. You actually care about her. Yeah, you like her. Yeah, I don't. I, she could. She could be an awful person, like Vince Vaughn, and <laughs> you know, no. but in, uh, yeah, she does really well on screen. And the other actors I've never seen or heard from them before, but they did a pretty good job, and mm. I felt good watching it. Okay, cool. Feeling of good. Fi- talking of good feeling movies, me and Karen saw Christopher Robin. Yes, we did, and it was very cute. And Lots very of jump charming. scares. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It was yeah. just a jump scare. Tigger was a nightmare. <laughs> <laughs> he always is, though. Let's be real. No. Yeah, he, it was adorable. It was a movie that you go to if you feel like just being charmed for a little while and just relax and it see some like characters that are just nice and everyone's nice and you mcgregor is nice i love you and mcgregor yeah he's she just no nice wrong. you know and it just really you can be the piglet in my ear. <laughs> 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 oh. any day <laughs> oh, no they were really i feel like it was um not as strong as something like paddington or paddington 2 hmm. which brought something else i think to the kind of kids movie old property genre it was a really that was a really interesting film in comparison because it had a stylistic energy to it it was still really charming it was very british and i feel like they tried to do something with that Hmm. but they it was paddington light yeah it was paddington light it was just they thought oh you know this did really well let's do something similar with winnie the pooh and they did but it didn't feel like a ripoff it Hmm. felt quite nice. So I would have thought this would have been a bigger film than that, the Paddington movies. I know the Paddington movies went crazy because they're like 100% of Rotten Tomatoes. They're, they're, they're really good movies. <laughs> they are really I great movies. No clue. Yeah, they are. I watched one um, I got really angry when I watched the trailer for the first Paddington because I was used to the little actual bear that they did in the 70s with the paper cutouts and I got angry like they made a CGI bear and I just went I'm never going to watch that little crap and then everyone started talking about it and I caught it on Netflix and by the end of it it was one of those films I was like I want to watch it now again. See, it soothes me friends. so much. That's what I need. People to talk to me <laughs> and tell me these things. Because I, I had the same feeling you did. I thought it was just like a CGI bear movie. And- yeah, yeah, same. I haven't seen same. It. Cheap, yeah. cheap cash in. I honestly they, they are same. very good movies. They are. Or just like kids' movies, like on a different level. Yeah, the director of... Paddington kills a guy. <laughs> <laughs> Lots of life lessons. The director of the Paddington movies um, actually... Did a lot of work with Mighty Boosh in England. Okay. And he's a he's done another movie called Bernie and the Bull, which was like an indie movie. And the Paddington movies kind of take a little bit of um, stuff from Wes Anderson, of all things. Like, they okay. have that really nice aesthetic to it. Everything's symmetrical. It's really charming. There's lots of colour in there. Um, people kind of talk in a different way, but it's a soothing way. It's a difficult film to explain, but I would recommend seeing it. And okay. I feel like Christopher Robin was that without as much stylization. And I do feel like the one thing that made me go, oh, okay, with Christopher Robin was... They tried to portray this message that just got a little bit lost because it was if you do nothing, Please good things put on will hands happen. Put on hands <laughs> but that was the main core message was if you do nothing, good things would happen. And I guess it's for people who have like a really busy lifestyle and work, work, work all the time you and you've down. got to yeah. relax and slow oh. down. But to me, I was just like, but I want to do nothing and I can't. And this is that's, making that's me angry. A, that's a dangerous message to send kids as well yeah. don't try it didn't come across as i think they intended at times no but i feel like as well it may not come across well to kids but i feel like that message was meant for adults yeah. which doesn't really work in a film that really appeals to 
kids because we brought two little cousins with us and they loved it. They wanted to see it again. They were like, it was so cute and I love Pooh and they were talking about their favourite characters and that was really nice to see. But at the same time, like, for, as an adult, that was a bit, okay, well, good message and all, but that's not how real life works and you, your cynicism <laughs> sneaks through. Yeah, you're going to break the kids again. Yeah, that sounds yeah. more like a problem with you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> they get their face no, out to it to be like, you listen to me. No, because <laughs> the, kids, the, kids, um, the kids didn't talk anything about that message. No. It was us talking about it afterwards and going, well, in real life, we have to go to work because if we don't, yeah, but that's, sh- we lose our jobs. But that's, that's just, <laughs> we can't that's afford to see <laughs> Winnie the Pooh 6. <laughs> <laughs> and I guess that's the problem with Winnie the Pooh at all. It's just because, like, that was always his message, wasn't it? I yeah. guess, you know, he yeah. he had escapism. Like, that's what I he would do, we, is he'd d- mm. disappear with these, you know, stuffed toys and just forget the world for a little while because there's always bad things going along. And I feel like when it did just talk about having imagination and letting your inner child run free and seeing the world as your inner child does and seeing the world through like Pooh's eyes I would say not so much Eeyore because he was really depressing in it like (laughs) Eeyore went to a new level he wasn't just like normal Eeyore like I'm a bit sad he was like the world is terrible that is normal Eeyore no I see humiliation everywhere like just let me drown you know like he was really you know but I find that oh bother with Winnie he did they really did well on the CGI with them all as well. Mm. They looked really good. Mm. They looked like old worn toys mm. and it was soothing. A lot of people think, a, a lot of other reviewers were saying it was depressing by how it looked. I don't think it was depressing. I think it was soothing. What, is it, it what was, do they mean by that? Just it was very, worn, I guess. No, right? It was very English. It was very yeah, grey. Okay. Very misty, ah, super English. Okay, makes sense. Yeah, see, whereas Paddington has a little bit of that, but it kind of hypes up the colour. Yeah, yeah. Whereas Add this is very English. Yeah. Very, this very English. This is just, English. they went to London and filmed. Yeah, with yeah. yeah. It was raining that day. Oh, well, we'll film anyway. Yeah. <laughs> That's yeah. like what Fair it enough, was. Yeah. <laughs> and yeah, I feel like they did a good job with it. And I feel like if you are were a fan when you were a kid and you want to see Pooh, Again, that's a good place to start. You just go and you watch him and it's like an old friend coming back and mm. it makes you feel nice yeah, and sweet. sweet. And then you just try to not let your cynicism <laughs> overwhelm everything. Which it sounds like it did for you. A little bit. And I was really annoyed at myself for that because I wanted to get entranced by it. It's not your fault. That's, it's, it's part of the movie's role is to take you on that journey. If it doesn't get yeah. there completely. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Well, one one part that was really good was the voice acting. Yes, um, Brad Garrett, who was Eeyore, you're speaking of Eeyore, was the best the best voice actor I thought for it. He was yeah. great. Piglet okay. was he wasn't bitch, acting. He, he's just he just, he's just up, really sad. Like, yeah. yeah, Raymond's over. Can you just kill me? <laughs> <laughs> no, Eeyore was great. Piglet though, talking about Piglet being a bitch, Piglet did not sound right at all, and he had the least lines despite being Pooh's best friend. And yeah, I think forget about it. <laughs> Got a problem with me? <laughs> it was just like a really kitty voice. It was odd. It wasn't like the little like scared kind of yeah. oh, poo kind of voice. It was like a actual child. No, it was like an actual middle aged man doing like a hey poo kind of oh. voice, and it was really oh. weird. Oh. Um, I comfortable. <laughs> yeah, it made I didn't me... have as much problem with it. I thought it was okay. Yeah, I I didn't, but he didn't have many lines, which was weird because I was like, isn't he your best mate, Pooh? Shouldn't you yeah, talk to him a bit more? Yeah. Quiet, you. Yeah, but no, Eeyore was just there, just like, oh, it's raining again and I'm really depressed and then, great. And then right. Pooh had a lot of lines and the others kind of just had a few things here and there. Is the whole gang there or is yeah. it? Oh, okay. The whole gang is there. In so parts. Roo and, I forget a lot Kanga of names. Roo. Kanga and Roo. Kanga and Roo. Rabbit. Rabbit. Wow. I forget oh, that's right. His name is Rabbit. Yeah. I thought it was something else. I thought it was an actual name, but that's no, just Rabbit. Tigger sings this Tigger song, and that's cute. Yeah. And yeah, it's it's a nice movie. When you think of how those characters are named, it's pretty shit, isn't it? Yeah, I mean, it's exactly what a kid would do. Rabbit. My yeah. brother's favourite toy was called Dog. Yeah, it's because he did. No, I, I, think, I think you're all wrong, and I think it's really stupid. <laughs> <laughs> I was listening to another podcast where they were talking about that, and they were saying it's like he gave up halfway through. Like he's like, "What am I going to call this bear? Winnie the Pooh? What am I going to call like this this tiger-like thing? Tigger? All right." 
So what about this owl? I just call it owl. <laughs> call <laughs> it rabbit. Just, yeah, yeah, rabbit. Deadlines looming. To be fair, kangaroo and roo are kind of that's that, I like that. that's cute. That's yeah. that's yeah. like kind of cute and clever. Mm. I guess I don't know. <laughs> Not shit. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Fair enough. Bye. Now the next movie we watched this week, Crazy Rich Asians. Yes, mm-hmm. that one. Was it? Yes. Yeah. So I was just really um, interested to see it because it had a lot of uh, yeah Asian representation, and lots and lots of people were talking about it, and it's done insanely well at the box office. Like it's got shockingly a, so. It's yeah, got surprisingly. A lot of yeah, had yeah. a really good promotion. Which is good. I love, yeah. I, I mean, as I said, I think we discussed it a couple of weeks ago, the trailer looked very tropey. Yes. yes. But, okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah, I went, yeah, out of mainly, like, curiosity, I wanted to see, like, I hope it was as good as sort of everything made it look. Um, I would say that it was a romance movie, so it was a bit tropey. Rom-com so or romance? I think romance with some comedy. Okay. So I wouldn't say rom-com, like right. some characters were funny, but yep. it was mainly a romance movie. And they just had like a few cliche moments, I guess. So like, I would say the plot will not surprise you. So, you know, a rich guy is dating, a, well, not, she's not poor, but you know, massively rich, crazy rich, one would say, mm. um, is dating a girl who doesn't know about it. You know, they, he wants to take her to meet his family uh, in Singapore um for a wedding of a relative then she slowly starts to realize like how rich he is uh family doesn't approve you know it's kind of everything you would expect um and then there was just a few moments where it just had cliche things that romance movies have so like the i'm gonna get dressed scene you know where they she tries on all these different dresses to try and impress you know they do the Mm. little montage thing Mm. that happens Something with an airport, too. That's towards the end yeah. of the film, so I won't spoil it, but there's an airport the slash blob. chase scene, you know? like the It's just everything you would ever see in any romance movie, so I wasn't, you know, wowed by the plot. And Are there you, any you guys wouldn't be. to it? Uh, I, I would still say I enjoyed it. Yeah. Like, I, I would recommend it. Like, it's cute, and, yeah, you, you feel good after you watch it sort of thing. It's just a mm. nice, easy story to watch. Um and I think it was kind of, I loved seeing um, Asian culture, like they play mahjong and stuff like that, they were oh, just, yeah. and like make um, dumplings together and mm. just little things like that that I think um, it's nice to see Hollywood do. Mm. So I can appreciate it for that reason. Mm. And I'm like, well, this is actually really nice that it's not, it's somewhat relevant that they are Asian, but in a way that it's not. Like it's just, it's about a romance between characters and they just happen to be Asian and it's same with the family and this is what the family does and these are the different cultural practices rather than just another american family mm. between yeah so i would enjoy it but yeah it's just not gonna knock your socks off and it's predictable would you say it's worth the 97 percent on Rotten tomatoes though probably not like if i kind of resent it a little bit in that i think it got that because of it being this about Asians. yeah yeah, yeah. i think that's and I'm, that's what makes me a little angry about it is that i'm mm. like i would like to i would I want movies to be appreciated for what they do, not just like groundbreaking uh, things they at do. At the same time, something to remember is that that's an aggregated result. Yeah, I was going to yeah. say, it's not so, 10 out of 10 on every review. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's, it's, it's inoffensive enough that everyone's given it a good review. That's it. It's gotten 7 out of 10 from yeah. most critics or something. Yes, that's yeah. true. And that's, and that's probably what I would say yeah. is, you know, like I neither, like I definitely didn't hate it. I enjoyed it and it just, it just had a predictable plot. That's all. Like, mm. it, it's still a good movie for all intents and purposes, and it's got a sequel. I think already, like it's been green. Really? Like, a sequel? Oh, yeah, because wow. it had like a very Marvel post credit scenes moment where it was like, <laughs> "Here's this character you really liked in this movie. This is going to be about her next," and right. alluded to some mm. kind of relationship there. More yeah. crazy rich Asians. <laughs> <laughs> That's a great sequel title. That's actually yeah. a good one. I actually like that. <laughs> Peyton, it's mine. Sorry. <laughs> still. Crazy. Still crazy. <laughs> Still crazy. Even more crazy. <laughs> uh, all good? Yep, all good. Yeah. And that's uh, that. Yeah. That, cool. Flip side. <laughs> yeah. Oh, oh, yeah. oh, oh God. God. Real quick. Okay. Um, It's fine. I, I, I was expecting to hate it, to be honest. Mm. You know, you can't help having these preconceived notions. I knew nothing about it going in. I just saw a poster. I didn't even realize it was Eddie Izzard. I just looked at it and was like... 
okay, there's people and there's signs. Like any movie with signs on the poster makes me angry for some reason. It's, like, okay. <laughs> <What>? <laughs> it's a really shit poster. Yeah. It's, 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 the marketing for this film has been awful. <laughs> it's just the trailers looked terrible and didn't tell a plot. And the uh, okay, the film starts, and then there's like a Kylie Minogue sign, and it looks like I don't, I'm not that pinicky with nitpicky, nitpicky. 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 You got me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, not this, I'm not usually this nitpicky with this element of films, but it had this Kylie Minogue song, and the the intro credits were like done on photoshop i swear it was really bad the film the the cinematography from what i saw from the trailer looked awful it looked it like it was like a soap opera it looks like yeah it did it was very soap opery commercially i could have done it on my mac yeah and i'm not trying to be like all snarky with that like mm. that being said i warmed up to it as it went on it wasn't hilarious eddie izzard was Good, like every, I think in my review, I just said everyone was good and yeah. they were like, <laughs> there's nothing more, nothing less. It was like okay, it I was do, fine. I did realize in your review though that halfway through you started talking about sideways and then <laughs> went, oh, I'd rather be watching that. So it seems like you were bored a bit by yeah. it. I was bored by my own review too. <laughs> <laughs> it's. I honestly think that if you got the cast, sat them down, and they had a conversation, it would be more interesting than the movie, which is oh, always yeah. a bad sign. Yeah. Mm. But it was it was like a it was it was very much a play that was sort of that needed to be outside, so they did it outside and okay. Mm. Yeah. I like the nun better. And the nun's not a great movie. So <laughs> it's, but uh, um I guess it's good for Australian film. It's really odd that they got Eddie Izzard in for this Austra- very Australian it's, sort of film. Yeah, it's all, it reminded me of Matt King doing Spirited. Spirited. Yeah. yeah. I liked Spirited. I haven't, I never saw it, but I was like, that's super hands from Peep Show. Why yeah. is it in Australia? It, okay. was, <laughs> it was a strange show. I, yeah. um, it was good though, from memory. I watched it when I was young, when it came out mm. and I, and I really liked it and I liked Matt King in it, but it was a strange show anyway. It had a bit of surrealism to yeah. it. So. This was not surreal, but it's just, well, I guess Eddie Izzard's kind of surreal, but it looked like, Eddie Izzard plays this charming actor and you can kind of imagine Eddie Izzard in real life being more charming than the, the script he's given. Yeah. It, it was, but it wasn't horrible. It was fine. Shoot me now. <laughs> <laughs> it's raining again, poo. <laughs> <laughs> should, we, should we move on to a quick bunk battle to finish everything off? Yes. Mm. Good. And this will be a quick one because I haven't really thought of anything. Is it Winnie the Pooh? And <laughs> no, this is Captain. <laughs> <laughs> go with the string. We could go with two. I usually try and put a theme on it. But we could I was go kidding. Let's not do two that. Two things that are just No, let's random. not do that. Let's not do, well, let's um, not do what I suggested. Do what you want. In the bunker battle, we just take a look at a few things and decide between two which should last forever in the bunker. When the world is gone, I'm dragging this right out so Karen can think of something. Okay, I'm gonna go hor- kind of horror-y. I don't know. I'm just—they both begin with S, so the first saw, so just saw, okay. and seven. Oh, oh. seven. That's, seven that's as well. Really seven has so much value. I know. Yeah. I'm going seven. I just—I couldn't think of another one after. Okay. <laughs> I was thinking of what horror movies I've liked, and I said saw. I was like, oh, I didn't mind the first saw, and then I was like, and seven kind of is a horror movie, and mm. they're the only it two I can think yeah. of. Okay. So, are there any other any other horror movies that start with S? No. Fuck. <laughs> Never in the history of humanity. <laughs> Never before. Mm-hmm. I'm sure there Sleep are. Sleepaway scream. Camp, but that sucks. Scream. Um, scream. Yeah, Scream. Scream and Saw would have been a better. That would have been. I was going to say better than should yeah. we Should we do that instead? <laughs> Let's do that instead. Scream and Saw. So okay. seven wins. Seven but... <laughs> wins. Yeah. Can we just put seven in? Yeah. Do we all vote? Yeah. yeah. All right. Seven's uh, in, yeah. and then we'll do Scream and Saw now. Okay. <laughs> Cool. <laughs> Scream because it's essentially a parody. That's that's my choice. Okay. And an inspired scary movie, which I love. Second <laughs> is. I love scary movies. Yeah. I love that. I love those I like movies. They're ridiculous. I love two. Yeah, the first two. The yeah. first. Two. Oh yeah, yeah. But back before I got zuckered. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna go with Saw. 
I think I just enjoyed that film more. I don't have too much love for either film, but so it was mm. interesting. Um, it was very bare bones. Yeah. It was, yeah. yeah. It was I'm struggling with this one. You know what I didn't know until recently is that the guy who wrote Saw is Australian. Yeah. 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 We're pretty fucked we up. Can, we can claim that. <laughs> yeah. No, I'm going to go with Saw as well. Only because Scream was all right. I watched it when I was a teenager and liked it on a movie night when we had popcorn. But then Saw, I didn't want to watch because I'm a real scaredy cat and I don't want to watch any horror films because I'm frightened of jump scares. And if there's a horror movie that I hear there's a jump scare in it, I can't relax the entire time and I'm just anxious watching it and it's not a good experience. So it was the middle of the day and my mum put Saw on and I was like, fine, I'll watch it. And I got through it and it had a good twist at the end and it I really opened my eyes to go, oh, horror movies aren't that bad. So I'll go Saw for that. Mm-hmm. Come back to you? Yeah, yeah. do you want to come back to you? It doesn't have to go in a circle. Anyone yeah. can talk. <laughs> do you want us to come back to you? Yeah, come back, because I, cool. I don't want to culminate it already. Anyway. Okay, cool. Um, I'll go Saw. I'm weird with horror movies. I don't like watching them, but I will read the plots online. <laughs> I will also watch, like, super cuts on YouTube of all the deaths and gory bits in one, so it's really bizarre. But um, I just love... The, cons- the conceptual, you know, fucked up games that people are put in that screw with them. And yeah, I know we were only talking about Saw 1, which was pretty bare bones, and they delve more into that as the series goes on. But some of it's just visually really interesting and conceptually really bizarre, and I like that a lot. Um, in, like, movies like The Cube, if anyone knows that one, um, <laughs> which is also really weird. Um delve more into those things as well and i just really find those quite interesting so i'll go saw and i hate scream because i've been told i look like one of the murderers from it oh, you do. You <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. i forget the actor's name but he's the actor yeah, who also played yeah. shaggy and scooby-doo matthew yeah. matthew lillard, matthew, matthew lillard yeah. is it yeah. yeah i've been told i've been like look like matthew lillard all the freaking time <laughs> yeah i know i so, like him i like him he's too but matured, like as a to a good actor with yeah no well. I, I like him but when someone goes to you oh you look like the murderer from Scream that's a great that's a great line oh, pick up line right it. there yeah exactly <laughs> it's better than it going you look maybe. like Shaggy from Scooby Doo I would prefer that isn't it weird like it was so weird how much he was Shaggy though <laughs> like not even <laughs> was, in an acting though, yeah. role like you just <laughs> like how did they find someone that was already working that looked so much like Shaggy? He looks exciting. Yeah, he's the best, the best one of the yeah. I would prefer to be called Shaggy. Why? Because he's iconic at least. Yeah, but that, those things. And I can, I can, suck. I can laugh at that because I'm not like Shaggy at all. I could be a murderer in ten years. <laughs> Who knows? That could be true. I don't know. Pick and saw. <laughs> um, I'll pick Scream. Um, I, yeah, I appreciate Saw for everything it did. I, I liked it. Yeah, it was written by an Australian. I liked that it, it kind of launched a franchise. I could appreciate that. Um, I like, yeah, the unique storytelling and the fact that it had a really cool twist. Um, but for me, I think I liked uh, Scream for also similar reasons um, in that it can kind of, it launched a franchise and then also like a sub franchise of like mocking films and i think i liked how it it did something different with horror that i hadn't really seen before in that it kind of laughed at itself but it was still well i mean i'm very easily scared kind of similar um to what you were saying like so i don't generally watch horror movies but i liked how scream managed to kind of laugh at itself but at the same time it still scared me or it was still like um compelling i guess so and i liked how um the Every, everyone that I've seen, it did still have an interesting uh, face behind the mask, I guess, and um, still had that kind of classic storytelling of, you know, it could be anybody. Like at any stage, it does give you um, cause for believing anyone could be a murderer. I didn't really like how some things still don't quite make sense. Like they did do some convenient things where it's like, that's impossible if one of them, there's no way one of them could have like run yeah. and did this, this, and this. I definitely can appreciate that if someone like poked holes in that um but i think just as far as like i haven't seen anything like it again that has managed to do that humor and um you know how the other movies too are like spoofs of themselves and stuff like that cabin in the woods is a good one that's true that's true as well as another one that i like 
What yeah. one song? Tucker and Dale versus. Oh Dale. yeah, yeah. That's true, actually. Yeah, that, I, I hadn't really seen much that um, can manage to do that. Yeah, Cabin in the Woods is a good example of doing that, and I like that. I like um, adding humor to a horror. It's quite nice. So I can put saw in, or I can be a pain and yeah, go scream and tie break it. Mm. I was leaning towards saw because I agree with everyone said very bare bones, and I do think it's it, like it. I'm not a huge fan of the series or anything, but. The original film I did, I thought was kind of charming how quaint it was, you know. But hearing Kelsey talk about Scream, it is such an iconic horror film. And it kind of feels wrong to remove it from history because, I don't know, pulling the rug out from it, I think, removes so much. <laughs> well, you got to choose. <laughs> I was hoping that would be enough. <laughs> My answer is no answer, which yeah. means Saw wins anyway. <laughs> That's true. I'm going to go with Saw. Oh, oh wow. I'm surprised. Yeah, I thought you'd go Scream. Yeah, yeah, yeah there you go. Mm. I think just because I don't want to do a coin flip or anything. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's fair enough. Yeah. Uh, no, I, yeah, I think, I think Scream gets a lot from its time and place and culture. And Wes Craven's a legendary horror director and that sort of thing. But yeah, I think it does, I think it does get a lot from sort of that do it yourself 90s mm. time and place. Whereas Saw, I think, kind of made its own ground. Yeah, started its own sub uh, sub genre almost. Yeah, I think yeah. I think I think there's a lot to respect there that historically, maybe in twenty years, so people will still come back to in a similar way. Mm. I think mean, just because I grew up, not grew up with Scream, I parents didn't have it on loop, made me watch it, and that's why I am the way I am with big lips in my ear. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I yeah I, I didn't grow up with Scream but I remember going to the, the video shop and just seeing the mask and I'm like oh what's that and that I think that's kind of creeping into my memory but that's probably someone saw from you know mm. a bit younger than me and I want to be hit with the kids so <laughs> so. cool yeah. so Saw wins so Saw and wins? Seven technically and yeah, yeah. 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 Guess. Seven gets a free pass yeah <laughs> of all movies to get a free I, pass oh yeah <laughs> it's, worthy, it's worthy of the free pass yeah. Yeah. I don't know I reckon we could pit Seven against another Fincher movie Okay, how okay about can next we not week? Yeah, next, next time. week? Next week. <laughs> next yeah. time, seven. Does, versus does it, <laughs> versus something. A new challenger. I don't know. A new challenger. So we'll wrap it up here for this week. Um, if you liked what you heard of this awfully derailed podcast, <laughs> <laughs> subscribe and like and review and all those things, and we will see you guys next time. Bye-bye. Bye bye. Bye.